Hello fellow comic book readers and expensive paper collectors. Today I'm here with another comic book haul and we're going to call this the New Year's Day comic book haul because it's now New Year's Day and hopefully everyone had a wonderful New Year's Eve. Happy New Year to everyone. Hopefully this year will go better than last and hopefully the comic stories will continue to be good. I'm looking forward to Future State here coming up for DC and more of the King in Black stuff and the end of uh, Dark Knight's Death Metal. Looking forward to all that here coming within the next couple of months. Should be interesting. All right, well, let's get started with my haul. This is for late November into early December. I start off with Venom number 31. And it is, I believe, cover A. It's the Coelho cover. It's pretty cool here with Null tearing apart the symbiote there for Venom. That's pretty cool. Really been enjoying this series so far and continue to look forward to this whole King in Black event. Uh, next up I have the Nullified variant for Thor and it is done by uh, Lashley. It is the Lashley variant and it's pretty cool. It's got Thor all symbioted out there in the Null looking all crazy. Definitely putting that on the wall and the story has picked up with this whole Donald Blake um, thing here that's going on with him being crazy and everything. It's pretty interesting. Uh, then I have the A cover here for as the Greg Land cover, and it is uh, Symbiote Spider Man number two. Got Symbiote Spider Man there, in the black costume, and you got Black Knight on there. Pretty interesting. Been a good story so far. I have another King in Black tie-in here. It's a, uh, I believe, five-issue part series. It's uh, Namor. And this is the... Uh, no, don't say who it is. Uh, looks like the... Ch Ooh, I don't know who's... I do not know which cover this is, but this is uh, the B cover, I believe. I don't think this was the A cover. Um, but it's, what is the secret of the Black Tide? Um, haven't really heard anything about it yet, but it's supposed to be one of the major tie-ins there for uh, the King in Black. And then I have the uh, Bennett variant here, which I believe is an homage. And it's uh, the Immortal Hulk, but it's the King in Black issue number one. It's his tie-in for the King in Black. Pretty cool there with him being all ripping apart and just craziness there on the cover. And then I have King in Black number one. This is the A cover for it. Now this one here won't be going up on the wall. I'm going to put this one away because I got that um, other variant there that came in the mystery mail call for King in Black number one. So that one will be going on the wall for sure. Uh, the That one there I'm going to be reading. And then we got Immortal Hulk number 41. It's Alec Rock's cover. Pretty cool with him and the thing sitting there in a the diner, ordering some food. It's pretty good stuff there. And on to DC here, we've got Dark Knight's Death Metal, The Last Stories of the DC Universe. It's a pretty thick book, as you can see. But you got the it's a cover A, it's got the heroes on the cover there. This is one of the last three um, tie-in stories here for Dark Knight's Death Metal before it ends next month. And then I've got another tie-in here, which is the Multiverse Who Laughs. And you can see he's got some crazy stuff going on there in the cover with some... It looks like rabbit animals on there. Pretty cool, though. And then we got Dark Knight's Death Metal number 6. It's the foil cover. You can see it's nice and shiny. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, but... This series will be drawn to a close next month, or I should say this month now, in January. And then I got some more Marvel goodness here. We've got the Black Cat number one, and it is the Bia variant. I'm going to give this series a try here because I didn't read the other uh, volume one of the Black Cat, but I'm going to give this one a try because it starts off with her uh, getting a symbiote, I think, here, and, and it has to do with King and Black. Um, then back to DC, we've got cover A on the Batman Catwoman limited series. It's supposed to be a 12-part series by uh, Tom King. 
And it's supposed to be the whole relationship here, carrying on with Batman and Catwoman. Um, so, should be interesting. I'm going to give it a try for a while and see how it goes. I'm probably going to end up buying the whole 12-issue series just because I like Batman. and That's an interesting dynamic between the relationship between them. And then we have Batman 104 with the Matina cover. Pretty cool. Should be containing the whole Ghostmaker storyline. Um, I think this one and the next one I'm about to show you, I think that's the end of the Ghostmaker storyline. Um, and then we have Batman 105, of course, with another Matina cover. With him and Ghostmaker on the cover. Pretty cool. I like Matina's work. It's really good stuff. I have a lot of it on the walls. Um, very good artist. Very happy with it. Um, but that was my comics there for late November into early December. Um, next month I'll be getting late December into early January, which I should be getting the end of Dark Knight's Death Metal and a bunch of other stuff. It's a big order, so I look forward to it. And till next time.